Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do a, a quick overlay of an image, specifically a survey. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you what a survey looked like. Now, I won't go into details about how to get, uh, you know, your survey into a, an image that you can overlay into Google Earth. If you don't know, I can't explain it. I may do a video on it later. Um, but I had to modify the survey, which was a PDF file, turn it into a JPEG file, and I did that using Photoshop because I took out all the information that I didn't need for my overlay. All right, so with that said, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, save your JPEG file somewhere you'll remember. Um, I like making folders specifically for the projects I'm working on. And all you'll do is you'll open up your Google Earth, Google Earth Pro, whatever you got, and you'll just go to Add, Image Overlay, and you'll find your uh, image, your graphic that you want to put into Google Earth by clicking Browse, go find your image, and then click OK. I'm going to click Cancel because I've already done this. So my survey overlay is here. You see this very faint image. I can brighten that up for you. There's my survey. And it shows you 10 acres. Here are the boundary lines, all right, with the property. So the best way to do this, um, you should already know where your property is on Google Earth. And here's mine right here. So let me zoom in. Okay. And if you're not familiar with Google Earth, and doing this for the first time, here are your controls. You can zoom in here. I'm using a Mac so I can zoom in with my magic mouse. Um, but these can be tricky. So this is your direction. All right. So this is north. If you want to change your view, you can see how that's rotating the image down there. I like having mine stay at north. All right. So just click on it and it goes, it resets. Sorry, my mouse is sensitive today. So we'll zoom in, drag and move the map around. The one I find most important for overlay is this one. Okay, so this will move you this way. But these, you know, because you can, you need to line yourself up with a good amount of space here. But these little arrows are critical. So this tilts your camera. And I like going all way so I'm looking straight down at the earth in other words straight down at my property all right so then I kind of like to zoom in you can refix once you zoom in it's gonna kind of take your viewing angle and manipulate it so I like to get right about there before I start doing my overlay so as far as the overlay, you see here's your, the center of your overlay. See that? Obviously, the overlay is way too big. So, get it all lined up, center it somewhere near your property, zoom back out. Now, each of these green areas is a dragging point. So you can mash up everything. So just kind of remember that. All right. So drag it to something small and move it kind of close to your property so that you can see the markers when you zoom back in. All right. There's mine. I'm going to drag it so I can see all the corners. Reposition. All right. So now with this, you can, you can kind of see the rough drawing on the survey here. You can drag that to match pretty close. But remember, drawings are just hand drawings done by the surveyor. The best way to do this is to, sorry my mouse is so sensitive, is to 
make sure you have a rough area. Go ahead and name this something and click OK. And it makes it permanent so you can work around it without affecting that. So I know I have 662 feet. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw about 662 feet. Doesn't have to be exact. Alright, so we'll call that 662. Click there. So I'm going to just go ahead and save this real quick. Line measure 1. 662. I'm going to go back to my survey overlay, right click on it, get info, and I can readjust. So I'm going to drag this to meet those lines. All right. Now, click OK, makes it permanent. I'm going to go do another ruler here. So both sides are about 660. So we're good. I'm going to just click here and I'm going to make a line. It's about 660 feet. Close enough. I'm going to save it as line measure 2, 660. All right. Go back in. Go back to my survey overlay, get info, and I'm going to drag this down to about there. Alright, and I'm going to click OK. So, roughly, you see how off this is, but remember, this isn't exactly to scale, it just kind of gives you an idea to show you how to do a survey overlay. Now remember, the drawing on the survey is hand drawn. The house was not positioned to scale on the survey because it was just a property survey. It did not include measurements from the boundaries to the house. That gives you an idea of where your boundaries are okay, on your property. Now, remember, most important, without an actual GPS location of these corners, you cannot make this your final um, um, marking as to where your survey property actually is. It gives you an idea of where it's at. So I could later on go out with my GPS unit, find these rods, mark it on my GPS, get the coordinates, come back in, put the coordinates in, which I'll show you at a later date, and you will have an even more accurate idea of where your uh, corner posts are or your objects on your house. Okay, You can then take those coordinates and line them up and make a, a shape or lines, however you want to do it, and really know in Google Earth where your property is. But this is the best way to do it with what you have uh, when you start your search.